Hello artists, today I had a request from one of my students in uh, Art Show and Tell to show some people how to draw pictures of cats. So to get started, we're actually going to start this off kind of like our portraits. So I have my nice sharp pencil and I have my piece of paper. I'm going to draw very lightly because I'm going to be making a lot of lines that I'm going to erase. So I'm going to start with a circle. And instead of this being more of an oval shape than my heads of humans, uh, this, since this is a cat, we're going to make it uh, just a regular circle. I'm going to draw a line right up and down the middle, and then a line going side to side. Okay, just like human eyes, our eye line for our cats is going to be about in the middle, but before we do that, we're going to draw the ears. I'm gonna do two kind of triangular shapes uh, coming from this line right here, and I'm gonna kind of round them off, and round them off, all right. And then I'm also going to make kind of the body of the cat. So about the middle of these two uh, quadrants, I'm just gonna draw two diagonal lines to create the neck. Okay, now the fun part. We're gonna draw the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. So let's start off with the eyes of our cat. Uh, cat eyes are kind of um, a almond shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from my line and I'm gonna draw a little almond shape here and I'm gonna space it out evenly and do an almond shape here. And now I'm just gonna go underneath my line the tiniest bit and then I'm gonna go up and connect. So I'm gonna go under the tiniest bit and go up and connect. And I want these to look as similar as possible. Okay, now I'm gonna draw my line right in the middle. And this is where I'm gonna have my nose. So for my nose, I'm gonna start it at the bottom. And I'm just gonna do a neat little triangle. And then underneath, I'm gonna draw my line from my mouth and I want my cat to be kind of like a grumpy cat, but you can make your cat however you want, okay? All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect our nose to our eyes, and we wanna make our nose look a little bit more realistic. So the reason we do this in pencil is so we can erase later. So what I'm gonna do is on top of my nose, I'm going to kind of draw a half circle and then another half circle, okay? And then a, a little bit down here, I'm going to create two little nostrils and then I'm going to connect those with a little curved line and then I'm going to bring this down and connect it like that. Now I'm going to erase the little lines in the middle and then I have a cute little cat nose. Okay, now I'm gonna connect my little lines. And what I'm gonna do now is cats usually have like these little whiskers kind of going on. So we're gonna create two little circles right around here. And these are going to connect up top, and we're going to draw that really nice and light so we can erase it later. And then they have their little under part of their chin. And then we're going to just draw that little connection right there. Okay. Now, the eyes. We want the pupils of our eyes to stop where this line is. And once again, cats have those little almond sliver eyes, so we're just going to draw some little pointy circles. Okay, now for the ears, we're going to take our pencil and we're just going to hug the line that we already drew. And see how I started up at the top nice and tight and then I got looser as I went down? That's what we're going to do. So start really close 
and then kind of come down a little bit looser and then you can draw some little kitty hairs along the ears. Okay. Now, for our final details, we're gonna start drawing some shadows. Cats have kind of like this little shadow right by their eyes. And it kind of goes down right here. Let's do it on the other side. All right, they have some little shadows in their nose. And now we're gonna go in and erase our lines. All right, and there you have it. So now all we have to do is go in and color all right and there you have it your very own portrait of a kitten and this particular kitten looks exactly like my cat growing up Garfield, but you can draw your kitten however you would like. I hope that everybody has a wonderful weekend. Have a great day, my little artist.